Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz, and in case you're new, Karibu na Sanjatan. Apparently, my phone screen is like cracking, and then I realized when I remove the protector, the video is somehow clear. So, anyway, how have you been? I hope you're really doing great. You're keeping safe for this uh, Christmas. You're sanitizing, you're praying, and doing everything in the right way. I, I think it's, it's somehow noisy. I've moved from my room because it was too noisy. And I'm now in a dental department. You can see. And um Suju Kama Kelena Skika. But I hope I hope I skik it Sana. So well mm -hmm. what can we talk about? People have been doing Thanksgiving, yeah, but I feel like uh okay, I'll just thank God for life. Thank God for for what life for good health for good health of course for not being sick and just thank god for 2019 basically because oh sorry 2021 gosh what a my for 2021 a lot has happened the year started off well pretty well i can say but along the way things changed and um they changed to us last year was a bit tough COVID came, lockdown came, mm, we lost jobs, personally I did, uh, it was not an easy thing, as per se, but now, and okay, even before you continue, when you pray, when you, my mom usually tells me, whatever comes out of it, you know, I always refer to my mom, after I and to a class, but my mom's like my best, best teacher. So, I think I just told God, God, this year, 2021, whatever I've gone through in 2020, Aki Kabisa Sitaki it was just, can I call it a living hell? A lot was just happening. Things are not going on straight. I mean, literally, so do, let me say in lawyer, what are you? <laughs> this is how lawyers say it. Literally, don't go on. <laughs> Like, it was a live it was a little bit of 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 a little bit I mean, not even unaka, all those things like happen. Kabisa. So I just told God, God this year, and I told my grandmothers, both mom and dad, I just told them, I get too many because Mimi Mwaka, it was Jacquas Nanda Visuri. But now my grandmother, the prayers they make, I love to pressure. You know, me, I'm a first grandchild or granddaughter, but my dad, of course, the first one. So I don't know if first, though my younger cousin could not live on 19. But I always see myself as a first. Me being the first granddaughter, at this age, one expect. They just ask you right in your face. So, anyway, that aside, so I just told them to pray for me. And trust me, my grandmothers came home. It was a very difficult year for me. I remember I went home, um, it was in November. Because since I joined school, I've never been home for more than a week. I usually go home like a week, Christmas, after Christmas, I'm out. But last year I stayed home. And I remember one time I asked my mom, Mom, I mean, my mom told me, don't you ever ask me such a stupid question like that. It was a very emotional question. And um, came after Christmas, my grandmothers came. Usha um, yombewa. And trust you me, prayers work. Hey, maybe three money. Maybe like money. Mommy work. Mommy My grandmothers. May God just bless them. May God just keep them. Oh, what a chunk of money. Oh, nini like any mungu to wake when the right time comes, everything will just flow. So that was 2020 basically. They're not flowing well, but come 2021, January to the camera to flow. I can't complain. 
but uh, problem started in uh, Feb. Let me just give a highlight of 2021 because today is, I think, oh God, today I think it's uh, 18th. Sorry, let me just say, I've just signed it. Today is 18th. Mm. It came, uh, when it comes to Feb, I started receiving calls from home. Oh, my sister is not well. You know, and there's nothing as bad as, because I remember this year I took my sister to school. I've never, I had never seen my sister off to school. So, I took my sister to school and she was okay. So, that was in January, of course. Let's keep from Guam. Then it came down late. My dad started calling me. Michelle, are you go sour? You know, that thing is so stressful because I remember when I was in school, uh, I came to form three. I was sick. And um, sometimes you normally lose, especially as a society, because when you see a girl child being sick, I was judge. Like, a lot is talked about her health. It was not an easy thing for, especially for me. Putting in mind, you go on a hassle, of course, trying to save people the other side and then back home, you're receiving calls. Oh, Michelle, you go sour. I love you. I'm happy. I'm not 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 happy. Oh, eh, I'm not happy. 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 I'm no, I, I didn't tell them because I was asking for Menda Hospital, yes, I'm going to buy I think my sister this year, she has not even been, been in school. I can count the number, the number of times she's been in school. So, I asked my mom, have you gone to the hospital? Yes. Or maybe I'm going to go to the hospital. What is not going on? Mm. So, one, one day, I think it was on a Friday, yes, I just woke up. Okay, the first time I boarded a flight. I just woke up and said it come and buy and buy and go listen and I will see what I just asked them Nenda will see what I can be any made him into it they've been referred there and let me tell you the truth nothing hurts like referring a patient no matter how smart you are whenever it comes to referral things that thing sucks Referrals hurt. So my sister was referred to Medhill Eldoret. I've never been. To, I had never been to Medhill. So I just went to Eldoret, and uh, before my father thought of it, he couldn't make it to Medhill in Mongoja because no one is telling me the exact course. I love for so you nearly got the wrong information. I can remember. Michelle and I found for you MRI, CT scan. I'm like. What is the cause? No one is telling me. So I think it was my aunt. information Anyway, so I went and um, the state in which I saw my dad and my sister, it was not good. So I said to him, cry, but I prayed, go dear Lord. When I was in form three, I had the same, but hers is worse. I had like this sort of a condition, like in Yaki Sinikwa, Mike Dugana yet. So I asked the doctor, what is the diagnosis here? What is the problem here? Mm, kidneys, liver, uh, thyroid, like all those things. So she was diagnosed with arthritis and uh, rheumatic fever. I'm like, yo, this girl is not even 15. You're going to want to talk to But remember when I was in high school, I mean, I was going to kidney. But uh, it was not that as severe as her case. But uh, all along, Kakua Madawa, I medical cover, I mean, insurance, and daddy, like a kidogo, and then the rest was supposed to go back to her pockets. But never mind, health comes first. We did all that. So she went back to school, she was okay. Um, after like a month, Michelle and Gonjo back home. Nini, 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 I mean, no case daily, me but delica. Any, it was not giving me peace at all, at all at all. And I just asked for God. This year, I wanted to be like a blessing for me. Stuck in my side, we are last year in Fuate, him waka. But we thank God. And I go take a kido go check out medication. And I be sour. If I if I if. So let me take you back. Okay, this is my 2021 breakup. 2021 when you two me up And I thank God for everything. So last year. Um, my my parents, okay, let me say my parents, but my mom, 
my mom has been brought up in a lot of step family so by the time we're getting to know the real family both my grandfathers died step and the real but i never got to meet them Sorry. so when my mom's of course we travel with Kina Baba. So when you're being taken to Kina Baba, I remember there was this car feeling, you know. You're feeling so appreciated. You you know, and that grandmother was such a blessing to me. Kanambia nataka kuhu kuhu of course na na language is a shosh grandmother. They call us kuhu kuhu. Yeah. Tuna mtuna. Nataka next year ukuja, dollar kuhu na kuja next year December ni kulete ngu those kind of jobs and that day when you are leaving they said we cook and trust me i cooked to gali for over 20 people hey nangonga na nguvu i think i cooked to gali for over 20 people and um just a minute i cooked to gali for over 20 people served everyone and my grandmother's like whoa these are blessings um struggle you see the way grandmother is on a panda of sophia okay it's a blessing so after my sister was sick, that was in February, March, not March, I went back from my bro's wedding, <coughs> which was a success, of course. Again, I surprised him. Fine. So I came April. My grandmother, who had um, told me all those kind of blessings, now from mom, my side, my dear is so original. Alianza Kukuam, not original, in fact, gosh, mom said from his paternal side. When I'm just meeting my uncles from my mom's side, my grandmother started falling sick. And in no less time, in and in no less time, she passed on. It was a quick one. It was not easy. I asked myself, why is that when I want to, to start getting to know this family? Now, Grandpa Alicia was, should be in 2008. Now my mom's still back. And now the step, the grandmother, here my pass. It was not easy. And then that time to look on a lockdown. We look on a lockdown, cast on either the So I'm going to tell her it was not easy. But I promised myself, okay, apparently we share the name, my son name. We share. I told myself, at one moment we had a one-on-one -on -one chat with Kuhu, Shosh, and Koko, uh, now she's normal. So we went, Kofi Kama Usami, to Kashiwa, to Kaleko Asiali. Eh, I equal raisi, but thank God to me talk. <laughs> thank God to me talk. So we came back, and um, around, around July there, should be July, July, yes, July. Uh, again, I lost my aunt, the logical aunt. But uh, unfortunately, I never went to the murder because a lot was happening. A lot was happening, family noise, and so we never went. Lakini, she is my, she was my biological aunt. So, came again August. Why do you want to meet me? Until I ask God. Why? Because last year was a tough one, but now this year it's more tougher than what last year was. So I came August, I was just at work, and then I received a call from one of my friends telling me, "Hey, I'm taking a number of doctor Fulani to go to Bosina. Mom needs, Mama Fulani needs. No, no, no. It was a nurse friend called Brenda. She called me, mm, telling me, "But I'm number of Laura, her mom is sick." And, um, these are like my two best friends. When I go home, everybody knows even from my place. Come and swap in alone and go to the party, right? Sweet and dangy blessing, you know. And um, it was a quick one. She passed on. Eh, gosh, what is not happening? So we traveled back home. That was in August. Mm, buried her. You know what tough. And uh, at the same time, again, my best, you know, me, I have two best friends at home. And they're like sisters. They're more of sisters to me. At the same time, Fadil's mom also was sick. And, okay, she's been sick for quite some time, you know. Pressure, stroke, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was all taken. So, came November, 
late October. I remember she called me Vivian in the morning and that day I was like, 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 I was no, the previous day, like two days before, she called me telling me, Mom can survive without oxygen. And you just, all, all of you know, okay, if you're a medic, you know, anybody out there, oxygen is life. If you can't survive minus oxygen, the machine, then, of course, you know what? I'm I never commented, I just kept quiet. And she's like, mm-hmm. then two days later, she tried calling me, my phone was off, she called Laura, first in Cheza, Mom is fine. And then I just received a message. And it was really, really tough on me. Really, really tough. Then he walked in and he was off. He walked in and he was like, Dear Lord, you know, I just need to happen again. I was like, I'm going to go to the lab. It's a good race. So, again, I traveled home to some of them. I think that I don't know what to do. And um, what hurts me the most is when I was traveling back, my brother, Frank, as Carl called me, he was like, hey, I'm going to come back to my family. 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 We came back. We kept on communicating with Pascal. Everything was okay. Because the last time Pascal was at my place was in August. July. He just came from Mombasa and he was telling me, Masi, I'm not okay. I told him. I asked him, Shuda Nini, he told me, Nikona Alsa, Nakon, Nakon, Nakipula, Chapula, but you go to Nazia to the Nimba. I love you. Nime lose weight. That's what he told me. And then at the moment, I just told him, I asked him to video call so that I can see his body. I asked him to lose weight. He said, Back in my mind, be like this person and someone may lose weight. They may change dress for the hotel. I'm like, wait, but you left Nairobi very healthy. What is happening to my muscle? Let me show you. I'm a little bit of a dentist, but of course, post the killer malaria. I'm getting any of the things that come that you can go to get tested for this. They don't buy over the counter drugs. And my brother, I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little bit that was somewhere in June. Came July, he's like, I can't sustain my mother. Come here, okay. Then just come back to Nairobi. I wonder what to do with this. You have an insurance. Like, yes, I have an insurance. So he came back. And that day when he came back, I remember I was at work. It was on Atna. Actually, I was like, yes, I was like, 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 so I told him, Menda, when you want more, you go. Then, Kesho, before you go for, because he had, he had a meeting. I told him, before you go for that meeting, please make sure you go to the hospital. Then he asked me, which one can you address? I told him, Kenbisha is okay, as long as you have an insurance. Because I have a doctor and a nurse friend. He's like, okay, so. He came, he broke, put the gum, they sit, they slept, they ate, slept. And then on uh, Thursday morning, I left actually my place of work very early so that I can catch up with him. And uh, reaching home, I brought him. I'm talking to Saizu. I called him. I'm a few cats from in the Panda Mat, but my team be able to see. I told him, okay, fine, please go up to the hospital first and then you can proceed for your meeting. Then go get some. So I went, got tested, and then he tells me, you are just jokers. You're going to drop soon. I told him why. This part telling me have to be admitted. I asked him, "Honey, what are the results?" Then he's like, "Check on WhatsApp." I checked my WhatsApp, and uh, the results were not okay. Of course, you can, you know, his blood was low. He had ulcers, and I told him, "Bro, how was I?" I was on a similar addiction. I'm like, "Yes, you have to be admitted." But me, he's like, "But I'm not going to be fired by this." And uh, okay, that time when he was admitted, it's when they lost Laura's mom, so I was traveling home from there. I told him, "Let me rush home for bed, and then when I come." So, academic year, Alfred was okay. This child was in August, September, October. It was okay. So in November, when I was, I had gone home to bury 
for this man. That's when you talk to them. Like, you think I want to come back, I want to come back to the ground, get another engineering farm to take us in. And uh, the worst happened on 16th. Okay, the last thing we spoke was on 22nd November, but um, we were told on 16th was admitted. So when we were talking, he was talking on a very, very low tone. I even asked him, hey, wait, don't you want to get us out here? Why are you going But my friend never disclosed to me, you see. He never told me he was admitted. I don't know, but he was this introvert, secretive, and uh, a low profile guy. So I understood that. So I had met you one. The last time we spoke was 22nd, 23rd, 24th, try reaching his number, 25th, nothing. And on 29th of November, she got to me and I sleep with the Laura. You know, ladies in a photo, I think my mother is And then at around 2 p.m., I received a call. One of our friends asked me, Have you spoken to your person? I told him, we spoke last week, but I'm trying to reach him. At a hurry, my mistress is young. And I'm like, okay, please try and find out because rumors has it, he's normal. <laughs> he was joking. No, he, we, we just spoke. You see, have you ever been in denial? Trust me, it's, it's, it has not been easy for me to get over the thing that my friend is going through. He's a more of a bear that he can. So at the same time, my, another call is coming. I'm like, what the she can call your One of our friends again calls. Hello, Mongiana Flani. I'm like, what, what's up, guys? Let me call his cousin, his niece. Nef, I call him, but I didn't go straight. I just asked him, okay, I'm looking for so and so. I'm looking for Flani, and I'm back in the Zimua. I'm looking for Flani. He's like, okay, I'm going I get you, I get you, I get you, I relaxed. And then we made another call at home, asking uh, one of the girls to come to the family. And then she tells us, I can see you, I'm going to see you, I'm going to relax. We're going to talk to you, and we're going to talk to you. Okay, and then I'm going to see you, I'm going to see you, I'm going to check on him. Let's just go. I even ask one of our, our friends called Kevo. Kevo to fill the rep shift 2020 and I need to know the I Call started coming in. New numbers are just calling me. Hi, have you spoken to Phil? And I'm like, you people, when, what is not happening? Could you just tell me the truth? No, I called his number. Have you ever been in uh, denial? I was in dinner. I called his number. Both his numbers are off. I texted him on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. No reply. But I didn't. I didn't want to believe. I'm like, I cannot monge an age. So I used to me happen. So when I got home, I was I did again leaving. So I left Laura in the house and then I left. An hour later, my brother calls me crying. I'm like, yes, I have seen this message. My bro calls me telling me this color is bad. You know, for a fact, I stopped sleeping, I stopped going to the hospital because I've never been a brother, you ever had a brother whereby this is someone you had your age, of course. He had so many plans you could talk, he could advise you on life, he could tell you don't do this, you can do this. And uh, it was quite unfortunate. Someone dying at 26. It was not easy. One moment, the scan told me, I was Thank you. May your soul continue resting in peace. I asked, I told him, why, why, why not must be a two-way kit up and be a two-way kit up and be a two-way kit up and be a two-way down, you'll be doing less to your family. So at this rate, if you have, come on a ways or then, just do it. And it was an eye-opener for me. I told my mom, even if it's 200 bucks, 
I send you, even if it's like 600 bob, I send you upon a lipia, cement for the pole because me, my school fees, school and everything made everything at home stop. And I turn, I just started like you know, doing something to the project that I'm doing. So I felt it. This is someone who may share, who may share. This is someone who had like his future. We could even make jokes and he could tell me. Why can't I attack a wall when you're human hair? I'm not going to know the anytime now. And it was that that during the battle, we were asked if he hit water clear. I don't know. If there is, please, if anyone watches this video, I'm going to our late bro to let her to really appreciate. So, we could joke and he could tell me, Mimi Lazima to call in a PR and don't try to to be married in a shagala bagala or in a family. Please just be in the right way. You are first born. And you need to leave a legacy. But it was so sad because even even my mom told me, hey, to travel. We want to come to travel. We want to come to Mbeya, Kampala, Bala. And we could see country and have lost. It's not even easy. Losing a loved one. Loved ones. I've lost dear people to me. Despite the fact that this year is not going to happen, but death is painful. Death is so cruel. And death hurts. It was so hard for me to accept that my friend is no more, my brother is no more. We went to pop tip to for body view and I was like, no. If only you could have told me I was sick. Do you think I could have uh katari put up bona? You really kept a secret to your sickness. The last cause it was only like a week and then she passed away. Less than two weeks. I can say. Because he was admitted on 16th and then on 29th, he passed away. So it was a quick one, and a, I thank God for it. I think everything has a reason. It's been a three year with any Mimi. To be honest, I've been traveling home like twice or once a year, once Christmas period. But this time, I think I've been home for more than six times. And I wonder if any of you really matter to do with me and the past year and the past year. Now, this one. Got me really hard. So, I thank God. It's barely a week or so to Christmas, and I just want to wish a Merry Christmas in advance. I don't think we'll travel up country again. And I've just rebuked the. You talk Kemea Nini? Kemea. Kemea Mapepo ya Kifo na Ukonjwa. Just rebuke it in the mighty name of I don't want it to happen again. Losing a young soul is so hard. I you said uh, sometimes because Pascal used to come to my house and it's like, uh, where well, mom and Nini would be going with Uncle Tulani. We were so free to advise each other, bro. Sonia, uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of this this project? How to build mom? This I'm like, okay, yeah, by the way, you know what? Before you get married, you need to do these things because once you are married, it will be so hard for you to accomplish all these things. But all in all, glory to God. I don't have Thanksgiving, but okay, maybe the Thanksgiving habits for the life, for the memories we shared with our departed sons, for uh, to God also to keep. Their family is strong, their family is strong because it is not easy losing a loved one. It is not easy, honestly, it's not easy. And then, we to be a peaceful year and we do more of content here. And so, I'll see you guys. Let me get back to my work. I came in a bit early today so that I can do this, but I think it's now around 7. We have to shop at night. Nah. So on Friday, I think I'll premiere this video tomorrow when I'm home because today is always my off day. Yeah. Meanwhile, to keep safe, sanitize. Remember, there's a new variant in town, but pray. Prayers work. This is out.